Hello everyone! Welcome or welcome back here on my channel. This is me once again, Teacher Jinjin, your virtual teacher here on YouTube. Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na ito, gumagawa ako ng mga Tagalog tutorial videos mula grade 7 hanggang grade 11. Kung interesado ka, please like, subscribe, at i-click mo na rin ang notification bell para ma-notify ka kapag may bago akong upload na video. Magandang araw mga minamahal kong grade 10 students. Kung gusto mong mag-advance learning sa inyong mga topics from first quarter hanggang fourth quarter, feel free to visit our playlist. Kompleto lahat yon. Okay? Let's get started! Sa video na ito ay tuturuan ko kayo sa inyong learning task number 1. Nandito na nga tayo sa pinakalas part ng inyong mga modules. Malapit na tayong matapos. Okay. So, sa learning test number 1, complete the table below by identifying the degree and real roots of polynomial equations. If a root occurs twice, then use multiplicity or if it occurs thrice, use multiplicity 3. Okay? So, meron tayong 5 items dito. Then, i-identify natin yung degree, yung roots, tsaka yung number of roots. Sa nakaraang video ay itinuro ko sa inyo kung paano ma-identify yung degree. So, paano natin i-identify? Titingnan lang natin yung highest exponent. Pero, paano natin malalaman kung ang given ay ganito? Okay? Kapag susubukan natin itong i-multiply, ang magiging resulting product ng mga first term, that is x times x times x, di ba ang magiging product niya is equal to x raised to 3 na yan, yung number 1. Ibig sabihin, ang degree ng number 1 is 3. So, ganun lang siya. And then, dito naman sa number 2, we have x times x minus 1 squared times x plus 2. Kung susubukan natin i-multiply yan dito sa number 2, that is x times, kapag kinuha natin yung product ng x raised to 2, that is equal to x squared, di ba? Times, yung x dito na isa. Then, ang magiging resulting product ng first term nito is x raised to 4. So, ang highest exponent natin sa number 2 is positive 4. So, ganun lang siya. Then, number 3, we have cube of x minus 1 times square of x plus 4. So, kapag multiply natin ito, Ang ibig sabihin kasi ng x minus 1 raised to 3, that is x minus 1 times x minus 1 times x minus 1. Ito naman, x plus 4 times x plus 4. Okay, kapag multiply natin yung mga variables, so x times x times x times x times x, that would be equal to x raised to 5. Since degree lang naman yung hinahanap natin, kaya kahit first term lang ang malaman natin, malalaman na natin yung degree. Kaya, ang highest exponent na dito is 5 or 50 degree. Okay? Number 4, we have x plus 5 times x plus 2. Kapag ginamit natin yung FOIL method, ang resulting product niyan is x squared yung first term. So, x times x equals x squared. So, ang magiging degree niya is positive 2. Dito naman sa number 5, we have 2 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 4. O, oh, diba? Alam na natin yung degree niya. Ngayon, paano naman isolve yung roots? Para naman ma-solve yung roots, i-equate lang natin siya sa 0. Halimbawa, dito sa number 1, x plus 2 is equal to 0. Pag transpose natin yan, magiging negative 2. So, yan yung first root. And then, x minus 2 is equal to 0. Pag transpose natin, si negative 2 magiging positive 2. So, ito yung second root. And then, next is x minus 4 is equal to 0. Pag transpose natin yan, magiging positive 4. So, ang first root natin is negative 2. Ang second root is 2. And ang third root is 4. So, ang roots natin dito sa number 1 is negative 2, positive 2, and positive 4. Okay? Ilan yung number of roots? So, meron tayong isa, dalawa, tatlo, kaya 3 ang ilalagay natin dyan. So, ganun lang siya kasimple. Number 2, we have x times x minus 1 squared times x plus 2. So, paano nga ba kunin yung roots nito? Unahin natin yung x. 
So, that is equal to x equals 0 na agad yan. And then, yung pangalawa naman, dalawa ito, di ba? So, magagamit tayo ng multiplicity of 2. So, that is x minus 1 is equal to 0. Transpose natin si negative 1 magiging positive 1. And then, next is yung x plus 2. x plus 2 equals 0. Transpose natin magiging negative 2. Or, simple lang naman mga anak, kapag kinukuha natin yung roots, kunin nyo lang yung opposite ng mga nandito sa loob ng parentheses. So, dito sa number 2, ang roots natin ay 0. Next is positive 1. Uh, multisip, multiplicity, ilan? Dalawa. And then, next is negative 2. So, ilan na yung number of roots? So, Isa, tapos dalawang 1, and then isang negative 2. So, ang total number of roots natin is 4. Okay? Next, number 3. Sabi ko nga kanina, kunin nyo lang yung opposite nito. Ang opposite ni negative 1 is positive 1. Positive 1, multiplicity 3. Kasi meron raised to 3 dito. 1, multiplicity 3. Gets ninyo? Next, yung opposite ng 4, that is negative 4. Multiplicity, multiplicity, ilan? 2. So, ilan yung number of roots? That is 3 plus 2 equals 5. Okay? Number 4, we have x plus 5. Ang opposite ng positive 5, that is negative 5. And then, ang opposite naman ng positive 1, that is equal to negative 1. Ngayon, kung kailangan ninyo ng solution, ganito lang ang gawin ninyo mga anak. Okay? Kung kailangan ng teacher nyo ng solution. And then, ilang number of roots? Meron tayong dalawa, kaya 2. Number 5, x squared times x minus 1 times x plus 1. So, unahin muna natin itong dalawa. Meron tayong positive 1 na real roots and then negative 1. And then, x squared. So, kapag kinuha natin yung x squared, ang magiging roots niyan is parang ganito, 0. So, 0 na dalawa. So, 0 multiplicity 2. So, meron tayong isa, dalawa, plus 2 equals 4. Okay, so tapos na natin ang learning task number 1. Kung nagusto ninyo ang video na to, please do like this video at mag-comment na rin kayo sa baba. Once again, stay home, stay safe, stay healthy, at mag-aaral lang mabuti. God bless you all and goodbye!